Richard Harris is a man called Horse. He goes west to discover what sort of man he is. He's captured by the Sioux, who have never seen a white man before. He is treated like an animal, fights with dogs for scraps of meat. He's man reduced to his absolute minimum. Because you want to get out, that's why. Get it, Chita. When you first brought me here, you said I was a horse, an animal. And to me, you were mean, vicious, ignorant, superstitious, benighted savages. And when you fight your enemies and their arrows pierce your skins, you bleed like all men. But it seems to me that you only live to hunt your buffalo, to fight the Shoshone, and to have your women. I know you would say to me, what? called horse. To finally become an Indian warrior, he must perform the sun vow ceremony, perhaps the most electrifying ritual ever seen. Sucker. You understand now? I think you say, firecracker. We are like two brothers. I mean, you you make the holes with the holy water, and I walk in and do the dirty work, eh? You come here to join the revolution. Oh, one was enough for me. Fuck you, suckers! I think we should get out of here. Are you kidding? 
can't leave now. You're a great, grand, glorious hero of the revolution. I'm talking about revolution. Trust me. No. Ah, Putin! Duck, you sucker. <laughs> Duck, you sucker. Heroes aren't always beautiful. Into the camera. for a living and killed for a hobby he spent seven years dying and he made damn sure he didn't go alone for the past 90 years this man has been a hero until now some men bought her some got her for nothing playing for the lady why don't you play the gentleman? One hand of stud, and she belonged to the winner. Or the loser. They all treated her like dirt. Why not? For the past 90 years, this woman has been a heroine. Until now. On a good day, he might pistol with a drunk, shoot an unarmed man, bribe a politician, and get paid off by an outlaw. I run the law. You run the gambling. We'll both end up rich. He was a U.S. Marshal. <laughs> For the past 90 years, this man has been a hero. Until now. Shotguns. They got shotguns. Spread it out. Spread it out. Western, like Doc. I, Jared Maddox, do solemnly swear to uphold the office of sheriff of the county of Bannock in the state of Texas to enforce the law and to apprehend all violators thereof. Now the hard point of the matter is there's a lawman in the name of Maddox. I'm Jared Maddox. Figures to take us back and stand trial for murder. I've been a lawman for 20 years. One lawman. Anybody who goes against the law goes against me. Ryan thinks he's enough. I'm going to take these men back with me or kill them where they stand. You'd ride a man to hell, wouldn't you, Maddox? I said if he came after me, I'd kill him. So 
Sometimes the only difference between a lawman and a killer is which side of the badge he's on. Bert Lancaster is the lawman. He carried the law. Sometimes he carried it too far. You hold the law too high. You always did. Without the rules, you're nothing. Are we going to stand around and wait while this killer chokes down whoever he wants in our town? He's a lawman. You want the law, but you want it to walk quiet. You don't want it to put a hole in your pocket. You take courage from each other and you come armed. Well, there are enough of you. All you need is one man with enough stomach to die first. Do you know what they call you, Jared? The Widowmaker. The lawman. He gave the West justice up to its neck. Then he rammed some more down its throat. Some people called him the Widowmaker. Sabata's back. He's judge, jury, executioner. Sabata's back. He's got his mind on a million dollars in gold. And he's got his sights on an Irishman named McKintock. Sabata's back, but he's not alone. He has friends, like Bronco, Fionda, Angel, and Clyde. But McKintock has friends, too. And they're all after Sabata. Sabata's back. A lot of men would like to see him dead. But legends don't die, especially when they're fast with a gun. Or a knife. Or a fist. The man with the gun sight eyes is back. And he's throwing his weight around, a quarter of an ounce at a time. Sabata's back. Magnificent Seven are back for a reunion of vengeance and violence south of the border. I've got pardons here signed by the governor for each of you. When I countersign them, you'll be free men. Well, then sign them. You're going to earn them first. How? Join a posse I'm leading. Who are we going after? Juan de Toro. Pardons, hell. That's seven against 70. You're taking us in there to get killed. Each man a specialist in violence. Together, a total weapon of destruction. Pepe the outlaw, a hot-blooded lover and a cold-blooded killer. Walt the giant, with the strength of ten men and the mind of a child. Hayes the soldier, he learned to kill in the army, and now it's the only thing he knows. Elliot the engineer, if he builds it, it stays built. If he blows it, it stays blown. Skinner the killer. They put him away for life and let him out for death. Noah, the writer, 
He came for the story and wrote it with lead bullets. Chris the Marshal. His men were all killers. That's why he locked them up. And that's why he turned them loose. Man, a series of charges in these pits. These are single shots, Chris. We need repeaters. Now those target rifles have got range. So we use those on the first line. And official police ride guns. Now, when they're about 300 yards away, we start falling back to the second line. Winchester rifle, the caliber 3040. We'll make the Winchester line. Right here. Model 1885. Wires, charges, strong as you can. Let's get more men. Seven's always been my lucky number. The Magnificent Seven are back doing their number. They put their lives on the line and let it ride. This man is buying himself the finest killing machine the West has ever known. I'm going to Pueblo Plata to kill a man named Tarp. He's got a bunch of renegade Indians around him and probably some Camancheros. I do it myself, but the odds are a little steep. I can't make you go with me, but I'll take your word that you will. Why do you want to kill this man? My family was massacred by this man and his Comanches. The time has come to introduce seven men you won't forget. Benedict, the leader. Shamako, the assassin. Job, the runaway slave. Zweig, the madman. Quiberon, the deserter. Cholo, the revolutionist. Hoop, the con man. I'm just a... True, blue, honest American. You wouldn't let a fellow American die in a place like this now, would you, sir? Seven killers who called each other Mr. Everyone else called them the Revengers. The Revengers, a story of unending pursuit and undying vengeance. Starring William Holden, uh. Ernest Borgnine, Willie Strode, Jorge Luque, and also starring Susan Haywood. I was looking at your gun, Mr. Benedict. The trigger's tied back, and the holster smells of hog grease. Are you a gunfighter? I'm a rancher. I'd like to see you, ranch. <laughs> William H. Bonney. He killed 21 men. I don't want to kill you, Bill. No, I sure hope you don't, Billy. And he was just a kid. Billy the Kid. You take this. My luck's running good. Patrick F. Garrett. He was the most dangerous outlaw in the territory. So they made him sheriff. Pretty fair shooting for an old married man. Just lucky, I guess. How he Pat Garrett had just one friend. Hey, Billy. Billy the Kid. And just one job. Kill him. Now Sam Peckinpah, the director who unleashed the Wild Bunch, takes a hard new look at two old friends, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. They were legends in their own time. Times have changed. Times, maybe. Not me. Get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope he gets away. Well, he won't. It's going to be a loose rope and a long drop. Well, I aim to bring the kid in. And I'm aiming to please him. He'll track you down, Billy. And get you. Uh, you know, this ain't no time of year to go looking for somebody. I don't know where he went. You better do better than that, Ruthie. 
I got to the point where I don't do nothing for nobody unless there's a piece of gold attached to it. Where is he? Fort Sumner! Fort Sumner. Where are we going, anyway? Fort Sumner. Ah! I know where the kid's at. I'll tell you where he's at. Old Pat ain't gonna like this. James Coburn. Bill! Chris Christopherson. Come on in, Pat! Jason Robards. Slim Pickens. Catty Corrado. Jack Elam. That'd be me, sure. Rita Coolidge. Chill Wills. Yeah. And introducing in his first dramatic motion picture performance. <clears throat> Plums. Recording star Bob Dylan. They say that Pat Garrett got your number. Pat Garrett. Adios. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Legends in their own time. But time was running out. Torn from the fiery pages of the mightiest annals of the West comes the supreme saga in the great tradition of frontier drama. Schwarzes. He rode a blazing saddle, he wore a shining star. His job to offer battle to bad men near and far. What's your name? Well, my name is Jim, but most people call me... Jim. Well, do your best. Now, let's see. Where were we? Oh, Rock Ridge. Rock Ridge. I want that land. Clumsy fool. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. There might be legal precedent. Of course. Land snatching. Let's see. Land, la land. See, snatch. Ah. Hello, handsome. Is that a ten gallon hat? So just sign this, yes, sir, right here. Oh, okay, sir. give us a hand here. All right, sir. Work, 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 work. Okay, folks, let's wipe them out! The heroic sheriff rallies his citizens in the wildest finish the West has ever seen or the movies have ever shown. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, oh. Have you ever seen such cruelty? Okay, we'll do it. We'll throw it together. And by God, the one thing we won't ever do is kiss no man's boot. Yeah! Let's go get lucky. Where? Where are we going? Anywhere. Yeah! Will, Todd, and Les left their homes and set out to find some fun, excitement, and adventure. All they found was hard times. I don't hire saddle traps. Bad luck. Haven't we got a dime between us? No, not a one. Money don't even know we're alive. And deep trouble. I'm not going to shoot you, mister. I just want all the money you got in here. I want it all, and I want it quick. Let us will! I'm down! The money! Don't shut up! And then they met a man named Harry Spikes. So you went and robbed yourself a bank, did you? Killed a man and lost the money. 
Don't look like you boys got the gift for it. He was a bank robber. I'd like to make a withdrawal. A cutthroat. A killer. And the only friend they had. If they caught you, would they hang you? They'd cut off my head and stick it on a telegraph pole as a warning. How come you stick with it? I got a dozen shirts, all handmade out of pure silk. And that's only when things are slack. How would you boys like to throw in with me? Three young boys and Harry Spikes. Well, I will open up that bank like a can of peaches. Four unlikely outlaws in one Western, the likes of which you've never seen. If one of us should get caught in a trap, he's got to hang. I've left men dead behind me. I've left men dying behind me. And I've left them calling my name. What you do is shut your ears and close your eyes and run like hell. The Spikes Gang, starring Academy Award winner Lee Marvin as Harry Spikes. How come you don't post a guard? Gary Grimes, star of Summer of 42. Mister, I treat people good if they treat me good. If they don't, I give them back what they sent. Ron Howard and Charlie Martin Smith of American Graffiti. I never killed nothing in my whole life. Todd, it was an accident. You've never seen the likes of the Spikes Gang. Settle back in your seats, ladies and gentlemen. You are about to become a part of American history. Dino De Laurentiis presents the David Susskind production of Robert Altman's absolute original and heroic enterprise of inimitable luster... Buffalo Bill and the Indian are Sitting Bull's History Lesson. This magnificent entertainment stars Paul Newman as the monarch of the Wild West. The noblest white skin of them all, William F. Cody, Buffalo Bill. Someday my hair is going to be as long as Custer's. Joel Gray is the producer. Nate Salisbury doesn't long win, but he does want to say he's proud, that you're proud. What do you mean by that? Kevin McCarthy as the publicist. This is an extremely impressive assemblage. Gerald E. Chaplin as Annie Oakley. Harvey Keitel as the nephew. Uncle Will! Control yourself. Frank Kakwitz and Will Sampson as Sitting Bull and his interpreter. Chief Sitting Bull has chosen to speak through me. Pat McCormick and Shelley Duvall as the president and his first lady. Great father, Sitting Bull has waited to ask you a very simple thing for his people. I remind you that in government, nothing is simple. And Bert Lancaster as Ned Buntline, the legend maker. So I say to the kid, from now on your name is Buffalo Bill. It also features brave cowboy, fierce Indian, countless feats of western skill and daring, and priceless gems of frontier wisdom. The difference between a white man and an Indian in all situations is in an Indian red. It's a glorious salute, not only to America's star himself. Fans don't like their heroes too smart. But to the show business. There ain't no business like the show business. Ain't all that different from real life. The history business. The wind blows the echoes of lies. The white man has stolen the truth. The legend business. The last thing that a man wants to do is the last thing he does. And the people and spirit that have made our country what it is today. May the sun never set on this great nation unless it comes up again in the morning. Brando. Nicholson. The Missouri Breaks. Give the lips of Salome and the eyes of Cleopatra. We ain't gonna do it because I said we ain't gonna do it! Now, am I perfectly clear on that, Cal? I do not. And Jane does not. And the dozen dopes who work for me do not steal horses. But somebody does, don't he? Yeah! Adios, amigo! Do you want me? Oh, my. 
This is what you have. Oh, no, 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 no. Your hands are below. Your hands are is on me. Where's your creed, Morad, Robert Lee? Where's your cabbage shooting Mexican pistol with flowers on the handle, Robert Lee? Why don't you go get it? Marlon Brando. Well, that settles it. Jack Nicholson. Get off! Get off! In an Arthur Penn film. The Missouri Breaks. Sir John Morgan was an English nobleman with an American Indian soul. And across 5,000 miles and 10 years of time, he felt the agony of his adopted people. And he knew he had to go back. The man called Horse returned to the wilderness. Shankala. He returned to lift the weight of war and superstition from the Yellow Hand Sioux. If evil spirit go away, Yellow Hand kill enemy, go back to sacred land. Our enemies are not afraid of the evil spirit, Elk Woman. They've got guns, cannon, power. Are you afraid to die? You must suffer for the people. The man called Horse knew the ancient ritual of the Yellow Hand. He knew that pride and manhood could only be reborn through the silent acceptance of terrible pain. Not enough to stand against the awesome power of the enemy. It would take an army, the most incredible Indian army of all time. Richard Harris repeats his most demanding role in a spectacular new motion picture. Bigger, bolder, more electrifying than any film of its kind. Hagen, the return of a man called Horse. In 1836, virtually all of the Southwest was part of the Mexican Empire. American adventurers and frontiersmen forged a new path of exploration. The old myths of Montezuma's golden wheel heated the fires of new discoveries, and with it, the deadly fever for gold. Under the burning sun, Navajos and Apaches warred in a battle of ancient hatred. Scalp hunters, bushwhackers, and bandits scoured the countryside like vultures, and into this desert cauldron of greed, distrust, and violence, some men rode alone. Men of action. Men who tried to shoot the sun down. Uh, 
don't know how many times I told him. Siesta ain't no time to go calling on folks. Shoot the Sundown. Two international stars create a love story from out of the desert sands. Margot Kidder is the girl who buys freedom with the only thing of value she has, herself. Academy Award winner Christopher Walken is Mr. Rainbow, the deadly loner whose destiny is a rendezvous with death and passion. That's a pretty song. And would it be the melody or the singer, Mr. Rainbow, that catches your fancy? You ain't gonna take this personal. No, it's just good business. I like you. Shoot the sun down. David Leeds' powerful motion picture adventure that will become a Western classic in its own time. Shoot the sun down. Margot Kidd, Bo Brundon, Jeffrey Lewis, and Oscar winner Christopher Walken shoot the sun down. Only in an endless desert lies the answer. Hello! Hi! Shoot the sun down. The old west, where the women were shy. Would you mind taking hold of these, please? The Indians were restless. And the villains were the heroes of the day. Kirk Douglas, Anne Margaret, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Foster Brooks, Mel Tillis, Ruth Buzzy, and Paul Lind. In the villain, rated PG.